Hello friends, welcome back to Invest with Ara. Hope you like my videos. Today, on the request of many users, uh, we'll be pulling futures data of uh, respective indexes and stocks onto an Excel spreadsheet. So we'll be taking this session a little faster because most of the programming is similar to what we have done earlier. Today, uh, I'll be pulling about five stocks futures data. So let's begin. First, we go to the NSE India website, we go to live market, equity derivatives, option chain and now you could see here futures contract, we simply click on futures contract and then copy. We go to the Excel workbook and on sheet 1, row 1 of column A, we will type in uh, URL and copy paste the URL that we had copied and on to row 1 of column B we simply type the name of the stock now if we analyze the URL we could see here that the URL contains only a dynamic character called this value nifty so uh, if we have to go for a stock called Infosys we simply need to change the word nifty to Enfi. so what we'll do is we'll simply copy this URL okay and wherever we need uh, the name of the stock or whatever stock we need we simply change the name so I need bank nifty here so I'll put bank nifty here say if I take Infosys so I'll put an Enfi here enter and uh, say Wipro and say Reliance okay so my second stock or index was bank nifty this was Infosys this was Wipro and this was Reliance okay uh, so this is done first part is done now we need to record a macro but before that we need to change the name of the sheet one so we'll change the name to FUT data and we'll make sure that we have this URL copied now we go to uh, now for recording a macro we need the developer tab here so this is actually Microsoft Excel 2013 so that for that we click on file we go to options and under customized ribbon we could see here developer tab so we click on developer and click OK so you could see the developer tab here now uh, we are about to start the recording of the macro so we'll click on developer we will record click on record macro now it is asking us to provide a name so we'll put pull future data and click on ok so now the macro has started recording now we go to data for to pull the data from the website we click on from web we simply delete this part of the URL and here we paste the URL that we had copied and click on go now here actually uh, there is a problem uh, whenever you try to hover your mouse onto this region it gives you a script error every time so it becomes a little frustrating so for that uh, instead of using mouse pointer uh, we'll have to use the keyboard so we simply press enter now press tab only a single tap so you could see that uh, yellow box turning into green and press enter okay now go to options now we in this program we don't need uh, any sort of uh, rich formatting or so we'll take none here then we uh, go to disable date recognition and press space you only need to use up and down arrow or tap for this and again disable web query redirections and again spacebar now we need to press enter then use your mouse pointer to click on ok again press enter and ok again press enter now simply take your mouse out of this region now press enter and now take your mouse to the import button and click on import now 
now you could see the import data tab uh, first thing is to go to properties and take this refresh every 60 minute box we don't need uh, the cell formatting so we'll simply remove this uh, preserve cell formatting and click on ok because here there is no ex additional sheet available we'll simply want the program to be on the a new worksheet so we'll take this new worksheet here and click on ok so our futures data is copied to excel workbook now there are certain data that we don't require so we'll start deleting this so we don't need this delete okay we'll merge this part I'll go to home and merge we don't need this row so again delete now we'll try to align this with uh, all borders and uh, we'll select a comma style then double click here so that every numbers are visible and now press ctrl F replace we'll be replacing the dashes with zeros so we'll put in find word dash and click on options and match entire cell contents with zero and replace all so we have made six replacements okay and then close so our most of the part for alignment as well as pulling the data is done now we go to the main worksheet that is future data and go to developer tab and simply stop the recording coding part is complete now we only need to edit the macro so before that we need to delete this sheet so we delete this sheet now we go to macro and we are going to edit the macro with the codes now these codes are similar to our previous one so uh, feel free to copy that here uh, so we'll start coding for x equal to 1, 2, 5 because I have taken 5 socks of 5 I will want the worksheets future data to be the main sheet to be selected so I will type in future data dot dot select again I want the sheet to be activated so again worksheet FUT data dot activate now I'll define the string I'll say my URL and within inverted commas I'll type in the URL that we had copied of NFT's future then I want the program to take the value stored in row 1 of column A now we will be defining a new loop to rename the sheets to the corresponding index or stock names so for that I will define them URL as integer oh sorry URL as string I as integer I'll start a for loop i equal to x x to x so url will be equal to cells dot i comma x oh sorry i comma 2 dot value this I'll end the for loop for i next with a next i and now I need to add worksheets every time so I'll put in this code worksheets dot add after equal to worksheets bracket worksheets dot count dot name equal to url now we have to delete this part so we'll delete this part now we don't need this url instead we need to put the string that we had actually made so I'll type in my URL it's done we don't need this command type 
it will give you an error so please delete this it's actually done now so we'll end the for loop for x as well with next x now here our programming is almost complete and we need to check the program so before that uh, we'll put in a button here say press alt and drag the mouse pointer and align or uh, assign this ma uh, button with this macro now we need to edit text here so we'll simply put in pull futures data so it's the button is done so before testing the macro we need to save the macro into its respective format so we'll save as we'll save onto desktop future data pull and we'll change the format to micro enable workbook and click save now we need to check our program whether it's working fine or not we'll be having errors you previously i used to skip the error part if we have errors uh, we'll work on that as well so we click on pull futures data So here you could see that Nifty, Bank Nifty, Infosys, Wipro and Reliance data has been pulled. We only need to verify whether the data pulled are correct or not. So we'll take Wipro. We'll see whether its uh, last price was this or not. So we go to NSC India website. We go to option chain. I may type in here Wipro. Go. Futures contract. Now first here is 286.5, 287.85 and 288.3 286.5, and 88.3 so our data is verified and our program for pulling futures data is complete so if uh, any of you have any other queries in regards to this can write to me in the comment section below Please uh, do not forget to like and share the video. Thank you.